Good day everyone, today I will be discussing the another important application of right triangles, which is the bearing. By definition, a bearing is an acute angle measured from the north to the south. We have the, our vertical line, the north to south line, north to south line direction toward the east or west. This is commonly used in navigation and in measuring inaccessible distances with the aid of directional compass. So that is the definition of bearing. Now we have our examples. We have three illustrations here. We have one, two, and three. Now, how are we going to read the following examples? So notice that we have here 28 degrees, 34 degrees, and 48 degrees. So, how are we going to read that? So that is 28 degrees east of north. Or that can be written as 28 degrees east of north. Another example is we have here 34 degrees. So that is read as 34 degrees west of north. 34 degrees west of north. So our reference here is our vertical line. We have the north to south line. So can be written as 34 degrees west of north and last we have 48 degrees east of so we have here south or can be written as 48 degrees east of south so that is on how to read the bearing now let's have our examples now let's have our problems and examples. Determine the bearings indicated in the figure. So we have our figure here, our vertical line, the NS line, and west to east. Now we're going to find A, B, C, and D, given this illustration or figure. Let's start with letter A. So answer, letter A, bearing from M to O. So first, locate from our north to south line, M to O. M, where is O? M to O. So A, oh, this is O. So M to O. M to O, that is... M to O, that is 45 degrees, we have west of south. So M to O, that is 45 degrees west of south. Next, letter B, bearing from M to R. So locate from our vertical line, M to R to R, M to R, that is 30 degrees west of north, okay. 30 degrees west of north. Letter C, bearing from M to L, so like M to L, so that is 60 degrees east of south. 60 degrees east of south. And last, we have bearing from M to A. So M to A, so that is 40 degrees east of north. Okay? So always remember that our reference is our N north to south line. Again, let us read the following. 45 degrees west of south, 30 degrees west of north, 
60 degrees east of south and 40 degrees east of north. That is our example and problem number one. Now let's have our example number two. The problem is, after permission is granted by the control tower to an airplane to take off from an airport, the plane is directed toward 50 degrees east of north. When the plane has traveled 30 kilometers, the pilot requested to turn at 90 degrees toward southeast direction. The request is granted so the plane makes it turn until it reaches 50 kilometers. What bearing should the control tower use to locate the plane or the airplane? Now let us use first or let us first illustrate our problem so north is west and south so we have here our starting point then the plane is directed toward 50 degrees east of north so from the starting point we have 50 degrees east of north so our point here say in this point our bearing on that is 50 degrees 50 degrees is of north when the plane traveled 30 kilometers the pilot requested to turn at 90 degrees so after traveling 30 kilometers so the distance here is 30 km then it turned 90 degrees southeast direction southeast direction so until here until it reaches 50 kilometers so from the turning point 90 degrees up to 50 kilometers so this is 50 kilometers now we have here since this is 90 degrees that will form a right triangle okay let us transfer our illustration to visualize so we have here our 90 degrees okay sorry so this must be like this one Okay, this is 90 degrees then from according to our given this is 30 kilometers and 50 kilometers since this measures 90 degrees therefore this is our hypotenuse this is our hypotenuse now this is our if this is our theta this will be our adjacent the opposite and this will be our adjacent now the question is, what bearing should the control tower use to locate the airplane? So our reference point, we're going to find the bearing okay. from south to uh, east of south. Okay, we're going to find this. Let's let's name it as angle beta. Angle beta. Now let us find first our angle here. Let's say, let's name it angle alpha. Since this is an application of right triangles, we can use the Sokatoa. From the given, if this is our alpha, so let's say this is our alpha, we can get the measure of our alpha by using the tangent function because this will be our opposite and this is our adjacent. So tangent alpha is equal to opposite so that is 50 over adjacent that is 30 now tangent alpha tangent alpha is equal to you can just cancel 5 oh we can just cancel 0 and 0 so 5 over 3 so to find alpha that is shift tangent then 5 over 3 or you can just simply insert in your calculator shift tangent then 5 
shift tangent, then 5 over 3, then equal sign. So alpha here is 59.04 degrees. So that is the measure of the angle alpha. So this is the angle alpha. So that is divided into two. So we have here, if we're going to, uh, that is our angle alpha is between our two angles. So our angle here, this one, and the other one. Of course, they are not, they have different measure. But they are not the same. Now, to use our knowledge in quadrants, we know that each quadrant is 90 degrees. Okay? So that means from our point here to our axis here that is measures 40 degrees because 50 plus 40 that is 90 now we have our remaining measure here since the total of our angle alpha is 59 so we can just subtract 59.04 minus 40 so the measure of this one let's say theta is 19.04 now according to our problem what bearing should the control tower use to locate the airplane so we're going to find our bearing here so we just need to get or our equation our angle beta is 90 degrees minus 19.04 here 19.04 and that is 90 minus 19.04 70.96 degrees therefore the bearing should the control tower use to locate the airplane is 70.96 degrees so this will be our bearing so that is the application of another application of right triangles which is the bearing i hope that you understand our lesson and its application thank you for watching senior pablo tv